Hello and welcome back to another GimpList tutorial. In this tutorial, I'll be teaching you how to make a cool water effect with uh, an image of yours. So, open up GIMP, and the, this tutorial, uh, just 300, make a new image, 300 by 300. Click OK. Now you want to get your uh, Woodstock image in here. I'll leave a link in the description for mine, uh, but I'm just going to copy this one for now. Just save the hassle. Okay, now that you have your Woodstock uh, layer in, you can delete your background layer. And then go to File, Open as Layers, and open the layer, I mean the image you want to uh, put into the water effect. Okay, now once you have this, go to Colors, Desaturate, and OK. Now take your paintbrush tool with a white foreground, and then just color in a few uh, dots on the uh, image layer of varying sizes. These are going to be your uh, water droplets around your uh, image. Okay, that looks pretty good right there. Now duplicate this layer and hide the bottom layer. Now go to filters, light and shadow, lighting effects. For the light, for light one, you want the type directional and then just drag this little dot right around here. And then go to light two. And again you want directional and drag the dot way down there. Now for these you want the Z on both of them to be zero. That just lowers the uh like the three D light effect for the uh lighting effect. So now go to material for glowing you want 0.5, bright 0.25, shiny 0.1 and polished 10. Now go to bump map and enable bump mapping and then the bump map image you want the uh, copied layer. Then click OK. Now alpha to selection this top layer. Go to filters, blur, Gaussian blur and blur by 4. Now go to select none. And now that just takes away some of the hard lines there. You can even blur it more if you want, depending on how many uh, hard lines you have in your image from the bump mapping. Now, we're going to take away some of this gray here. So go to Colors, Color to Alpha, and just pick a gr mid gray color that, you're, that ha your image has a lot of, but not too much of. So this color is pretty good. It has some uh, everywhere pretty much, so just click OK. And that's pretty much it for that part. Now go to Colors curves and set the channel to alpha and then just move the bar down like that it just gets rid of some of the white around the edges and blends it in a little better okay now alpha to selection this bottom layer because we can't alpha to selection the top layer anymore that's why we kept the bottom layer then go to filters light and shadow drop shadow and the settings for this is negative two for the x one for the y blur radius of four uh, black color and opacity fifty now uncheck this box, allow resizing, and click OK. Now select none. That just gives it a little uh, drop shadow on the wood, make it look kind of a little 3D-ish. Okay, now uh, what we're going to do is create the blue effect over it. So we can merge the drop shadow layer down and alpha selection this bottom layer, create a new layer, and get a foreground color of a light blue you don't want a uh, lime I mean a uh, turquoise you want more of a darker light blue so something like this for this uh, 8 C B F F 3 is the one I'll be using then just fill in the selection with that color then go select none now this layer mode you're going to want to set to overlay and you see it just gives it a little bit of a blue tint to it Okay, now we're going to add a ripple effect. So go to Filters, Distorts, Ripple. And we don't want to ripple this too much, just enough to give it a little uh, wave. Okay, so I don't have this pre-done, so I'm doing it right now. And this should be pretty good. You get something a little like that. It gives it a few more curves. So for this, I have the period at 80, the amplitude at 6, and the phase shift at 0 with... And anti aliasing checked and uh, retain tile ability not checked and wrap so just click OK and that gives it a nice uh, wavy effect there now I'll go on this blue layer do the same thing and that just fills in the blue with that okay now we're gonna make this a little tiny bit brighter just because it's a little dark, dull right now so just get a white foreground Oops. And alpha to selection this blue layer with this new layer, fill it in with white, and then select none. And then 
for this, set it to soft light so we get something like that. And then turn the opacity way down. Something like 35. That just brightens it up a little bit. And there we go. I, yeah, it doesn't. You might want to lower it even a little to get that blue kind of. Uh, it's not there. If you keep it too high, it kind of cancels out the blue. So there we go. Uh, simple water effect. It's not a great water effect, but it's pretty nice. Just uh, making your images into uh, a decent water effect. So uh, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial, and uh, I'll see you next time.